Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. According to market data feedback, mainland China has become ASML's third largest market. Under the repeated attitude of the United States, the ban on Chinese companies shipping high-end DUV lithography machines has been successfully postponed to January 1, 2024. But things can't go away so easily. After Japan began to implement the shipment of 23 core-making products, the ban on the Chinese mainland market rose directly to the 45 nanometers level. The United States and Japan could only follow up with corresponding restrictive measures. The Netherlands also announced that it would be implemented on September 1st ban on high-end DUV lithography machines. News soon spread that the Biden team was trying to comprehensively restrict Chinese semiconductors, even including the after-sales service of existing lithography machines. As the ban continued to ferment, Yangtze Memory once bluntly said, if China the lithography equipment purchased by customers has become scrap metal, then ASML should spend money to recycle it. Just when the United States was trying to escalate restrictions and bans, facing the risk of losing Chinese customers, American companies went directly to Washington to force the palace. The Biden team could only suspend the implementation of the new regulations and the U.S. Japan-Dutch tripartite agreement. Also there was a stalemate, and the Netherlands took the opportunity to delay the ban on high-end DUV lithography machines. But the matter did not end there. As the CEO of Yangtze Memory said, as long as the United States does not compromise for a day, the photolithography machines imported from China may become scrap iron. Especially after the return of Huawei's Kirin 9000S chip, the Biden team has been after searching to no avail, he began to grit his teeth. The U.S. Deputy Minister of Commerce responded in an interview, the rules led by the United States for the introduction of modeling equipment for Chinese corporate customers have begun to be further refined. The meaning of this sentence is very obvious. The scope of subsequent control is likely to increase to the scope of parts and components. Although the photolithography machine is a very mature industrial equipment and operates 24 hours a day, problems are inevitable. If it cannot be obtained repaired parts will naturally one day become scrap iron, and the Netherlands has long been wary of this problem. After it was reported that parts and after-sales services would be restricted, the target was also directed at ASML in the Netherlands. However, the person in charge did not give a clear reply to this issue. He simply said it will have little impact on current shipments. It's overshadowed, but in fact ASML is also panicking inside and is not sure what the Biden team's next move will be. ASML stated at the beginning, revenue in 2023 will not be affected. After the shipment restrictions of high-end lithography machines were postponed to January 2024, it has retained Chinese customers very well and has really achieved what it originally said. The promise always feels unreliable. It seems to be a deliberate favor by the United States in order to please the Chinese market 
and prepare for subsequent chip dumping. It seems that the restrictions on the shipment of lithography machines have been relaxed, but in fact the Biden team has reserved a hand. At present, Chinese companies have not really broken through the mid to high end DUV lithography machines. Even if they can be assembled in the future, they still need to integrate the world. Supply chain, the United States, can be said to be very handy at this level. In addition, it will also encounter restrictions on parts for later maintenance. Faced with this potential risk, the Netherlands has already taken action and publicly refuted the Biden team's approach. It bluntly stated that this approach was not approved by the Netherlands and tried to intervene through the EU to ease the subsequent shipment of lithography machines to the Chinese market. Dilemma, behavior that disregards the interests of allies, naturally does not receive any support. Under the pressure of the United States, the EU has long had the idea of developing its own semiconductor technology. This time, the Netherlands' opposition to the Biden team's new regulations is likely to cause further resistance from the EU, as South Korea Semiconductor said it is said that the United States' suppression of sanctions regardless of gains and losses will sooner or later cause other allies to join forces to break the situation, and it is obvious that the Netherlands has already begun to take action. ASML can solve the crisis. The United States no longer has many advantages in the semiconductor field. It relies solely on underlying technology and core patents to maintain its so-called technological hegemony. To the advanced foundry of 7 nanometers process chips, it needs to rely on manufacturers such as TSMC and Samsung. This has already deep, hidden dangers were laid. The Netherlands' constant complaints have aroused the EU's vigilance. Once European countries, Japan and South Korea fully intervene, the remaining advantages of the United States will be exhausted. However, the EU is now famous as a weed on the wall, and China cannot put your hope in them. Huawei's journey in the past three years should also wake up the Chinese people. Achieving single-core technological breakthroughs will not be effective. Only by building a completely independent technology system can we truly solve the current crisis. Faced with the situation where lithography equipment may become scrap iron, China should take the initiative to complete the integration of the domestic supply chain, make all parts localized, and solve the software and hardware problems at the same time, so as to eradicate the hidden dangers. In this regard, you how do you see it?